Hi friends, uh, welcome to your uh, Children's World YouTube channel. Today we will discuss about uh, triangles uh, which will come under SLC math subject that is uh, Thales theorem. Friends, uh, just before go to this topic, uh, please subscribe to our uh, channel. Also press uh, bell icon to receive our notifications. Thales theorem 1 What is Thales theorem says? If a line is drawn parallel to one side of triangle to intersect the other two sides in distinct point, the other two sides are divided in the same ratio. This is what the Thales theorem says. This we need to prove in the subsequent equations. First we will understand this uh, theorem. What it says? If a line that is DE drawn parallel to one side of triangle. If you consider a triangle ABC, A, B, C, then we will be having three sides that is AB, BC, and AC. In these three sides, if we draw DE parallel to one of the sides that is BC, even we can draw a line parallel to AC also for proving purpose we have taken DE parallel to BC. Then what it says to intersect the other two sides we need to take parallel line we need to take line parallel to BC we need to take DE line parallel to BC to intersect other two sides of triangle other two sides is nothing but AB and AC to intersect these two lines we need to draw one line that is DE it will intersect at a point D and E two sides in distinct point the other two sides are divided in the same ratio if we intersect keeping parallel to BC then what theorem says AD divided by BD is equal to AE divided by EC this proportional will be equal that's what they are saying we'll just derive this equation or prove this equation we'll just go to the equation equation by equation now area a d e area a d e is nothing but a triangle area of triangle that is half into base into height of base is nothing but a d and height is nothing but e n means if we draw a perpendicular line to the base that line should coincidence with the other point of base that is e if we consider triangle a d e then a d if a d is the base we need to draw one line perpendicular to base that is a d that perpendicular line should pass through third point that is e then that n e it will become the height n e or e n next area a d e is equal to half into a d into e n that's what we have written in the above equation similarly area b d e similarly area B D E Similarly area B D and E Here what we have done we have split this trapezoidal into triangles that is B D E and C D E How How to calculate this B D E area of BDE and uh, you may get doubt that why we have taken only triangle ADE and BDE because if we want to have 
we need to prove two sides that is AD, BD, AE, EC. These things should come at the end of results. That's why we have considered side that is having AD as one triangle and side that is having BD as one triangle. So we need to find BDE triangle area of BDE that is half into base is nothing but DB. So height is nothing but EN means here also same thing we have drawn one line perpendicular to base baseline that is BD that we will going to call it as EN. Next area ADE is equal to AE into DM area of ADE we can also write in another manner that is we have also calculated area ADE in the first equation that we have considered AD as base here we are considering AE as base then height will become DM and area DEC that is DEC this triangle we can write it as half into EC is base so height is nothing but perpendicular line that is DM therefore area ADE divided by area BDE is equal to area ADE AD into EN BDE is nothing but half into DB into EN so from this we can write half and half it will going to cancel EN and EN it will going to cancel we will going to left out with AD by DE we will just call it this equation as 1 and we can also try another equation that is area ADE area ADE divided by area DEC as I have already told you that we need to prove this side AD divided by BD is equal to AE divided by AC that is the reason we have considered triangle which contains these sides so here we have already divided ADE and BDE we have got AD divided by B, B, BDE similarly we need to divide ADE divided by DEC so half into DE into DM divided by half into EC into DM if you simplify this we are going to get AE divided by EC note that triangle BDE and DEC BDE and DEC are on the same base DE and between the same parallel BC and DE here what we are seeing triangle BDE and DEC it will be having same area because as DE and BC are parallel if we take perpendicular that is height will be same for these two triangles that is the reason we are calling area of BDE is equal to area of B DEC therefore from 1, 2 and 3 we can write AD divided by DB is equal to AE divided by EC means what we had done this BDE is equal to DEC here instead of DEC we are going to take it as BDE so this equation is equal to this equation so AD divided by DB is equal to AE divided by EC friends thank you for watching our youtube channel if you have any feedback please write it in our comments column thank you for watching